So you want this counter, this YouTube live counter, actual live counter. Okay, let me show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to go to your YouTube studio. Then you go into your analytics and you go to your live count. So you copy and paste the address. All right, so you add a browser source afterwards. You can call it whatever you want. Then you put the address that you had earlier and you put it at 1080p. And you will notice it will ask you to log in. So you log in. The way you log in on the browser source of OBS is by right clicking and pressing interact. Now you can interact with, with it. Now you can type as you can see over here. It's a little bit small but it works. You can make it bigger if you want. So you can see it better. So let me log in and I will, sh I will show you next what to do. Alright, so once you log in, it will show you this page. If I close this page, this one is still it stays up, it's independent because it's OBS's source, browser source. Don't crop it, okay? What you wanna do is download an image mask that I will link in the description, okay? Download this image mask. So you're gonna do this, create a filter, you use it, and there you go. You can see that now you only have the number. Uh, this is assuming that you are in the thousands, by the way. If you are in 10,000, I guess you will have to modify this a little bit. It's very easy though. Just make the, the white square a little bit bigger in Photoshop or something. All right, finally, the last thing that you need to do is add a YouTube logo or something there. I, I will leave one in the description as well, but I mean, you can grab whatever you want. So there you go, you have the logo, you just make it a little bit smaller. Make sure to fit it in there. And there you go. And now you have a live count of your YouTube subscribers. Now you can flex out there or, you know, celebrate milestones and all of that. So yeah, it's nice. It's nice. You can, if you want, you, you can go the extra mile and put them all in a group. There you go. You can put them all in a group and now you can move it around wherever you want. You can crop it now because you don't need the rest of the image anymore which is transparent anyway and let's say you can put it down here in the corner right and gg